Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube and Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me the opportunity to give you guys 12 readings, 12 tarot and oracle readings, okay? So with that being said, thank you Miss Nicole for this beautiful blessed opportunity, okay? I am truly grateful for this opportunity that she and Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me, okay? So I have a read that's specifically for Spiritual Guidance Academy only. You won't find this reading on my page. You won't find this reading on anyone else's page, at least not from me, okay? This is exclusively for Spiritual Guidance Academy. Also, you guys know that tarot energy is fluid. Take what is for you. Leave what does not resonate with you, okay? These messages are timeless, you guys. So they're meant to find you whenever they are meant to find you, okay? So with that being said, you guys, we're going to get into this read, okay? I'm going to open this reading up with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, okay? And we're going to see what's coming through our angels and ancestors. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Okay, y'all, let's see what's coming through. Divine Holy Spirit is coming through. Thank you. And we have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Okay. And they have another card that kicked out. And we have Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So I feel like with this energy that's coming out here, I feel like there is something that is opening up or something that has opened up. Okay. And I feel for a lot of you, this is, you know, you being led to your purpose. Teacher awakens. Okay. A lot of you guys have something to share. Okay. Okay. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers, you're spiritual leaders, okay? And I feel like the Divine Holy Spirit is dealing with you heavily with something that is going to be of a benefit to the world, to your collective, to whoever may be following you, to whatever it is that you may be doing, okay? And I feel like because you, you know this, your thoughts are powerful, okay? You are manifesting miracles, you're manifesting big things, okay? Certain portals have been opened and you're going through them. You're going through them. Not not so much. I'm feeling with ease for some of you. And some of you, it's just things that are just aligning. Okay. Even through the conflict, things are aligning for you to walk in your purpose. Bottom of the deck energy, we have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So I feel strongly that this is this energy of, you know, um, your spiritual guidance, you know, your spiritual teachers, your spiritual, just you, okay? Just being a spiritual person. If you're not, you know, um, an oracle reader, tarot card reader, or a spiritual teacher, you, you know, you don't deal within the spirituality field as a profession, but if you do, I feel like there's something that is being recognized here, okay? Your spiritual team is wanting you to know that trust, your devotion, what you've been doing, it has been recognized. And though you may be blessed, more blessings are coming, okay? Your thoughts are powerful and magnetic. So whatever you are thinking, whatever you're, you're dreaming, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're pulling in, okay, it's coming, because this is important. Keep following what you know is to be true. And for those of you, I feel like you've been devoted to something and gifts. There's some type of gifts that's going to be bestowed upon you because of the devotion that you've been having. It's the energy that I'm getting off of this. Okay. So we're going to go in 
with the Soul's Journey deck, okay? And we're going to see what's coming out for the collective Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective that I may be reading for either now or at a later date? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective that I may be reading for either now or at a later date? Allow me to tap into the energies, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. The Spirit wanted me to take that abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay. This is what's coming in for the reading of this collective right here. Okay. Your devotion is being recognized and you're about to be rewarded is what I'm feeling. With even more abundant spiritual gifts. With even more um, ways to reach people I'm feeling. Like the Divine Holy Spirit, your spiritual team, source, spirit, however you resonate, however you connect. We don't judge here. Okay, um, it's something that's coming in because you've been devoted to something. Keep trusting what you've been spiritually led to. Okay, it's being recognized here. Beautiful energy of abundance. Okay, I'm feeling spring energy here. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to get... One more. We're going to see what else is popping out. Divine Holy Spirit. What else is coming out for the collectives that I'm resonating with even now? Thank you. And we have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And I feel like this is what the collective is. You know, you're releasing. Okay. You're releasing that. Because you know what you've been devoted to and how things have been unfolding for you. And so therefore, I really don't feel like the collective that I'm reading for here is really, you know, looking at someone else's path or looking at what someone else's have or don't have, you know, and judging anything by that you are understanding, okay, or you have understood that you're a unique person. You know, the Divine Holy Spirit deals with everyone in a different way. Okay? But as for you who are resonating with this message as up to now, okay, abundance is coming in for you because what you have been doing, what you have been committed to, what you have been devoted to, okay, there is a portal, there's a gateway, something has been open for you to walk through and you are walking through it. Okay? It's the energy that I'm getting off of here. Okay? So we're going to go in with the wisdom of the oracle and we're going to get a message from the higher self. We're going to get a message from the ancestors and we're going to get a message from the guardian angels. Okay. And that orphan card popped out. So I'm feeling like some of you guys may be feeling alone at this moment because, you know, all that you, you know, when you go through a spiritual journey like this, you know, sometimes people fall off your journey, okay? You have to cut some things out, some people out, okay? And you could feel left out. But the energy here is, you know, pulling forward regardless, okay? Moving forward regardless, okay? Releasing that judgment of yourself, okay? Watch how you think, Okay, you're not alone. Even if there's no one around you that you can talk to physically outside your spiritual team, okay, or however you resonate, okay, you're still not alone because you're devoted to, you know, the, your, your the spirit is giving me, you're devoted to the abundance that is here for you to tap into. Being spiritually in tune with the creator of all things and how everything flows and connects, okay? And you've been doing the work, is what spirit is telling me. 
You've been doing the spiritual work needed within yourself. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming out for the collective? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the higher self? <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the message from the higher self? Thank you. And we have deep knowing. Okay. And I really feel like this energy right here goes into understanding how everything connects. Just like I said, understanding how everything connects. Understanding, you know, what it is that you're bringing into your life. What it is that you're wanting. Okay. Your intuition. Listening to the messages. Okay. And like I said, like I feel like Teacher Awakens, this is, you know, a lot of spiritual teachers are going to be listening to this message or are listening to this message. Okay. I feel also that, you know, you could read between the lines now. You, you, you could see the truth in something now. Okay. This deep knowing is allowing you to access this abundance. Is what I'm feeling here. Okay. So let's get some energy from the ancestors. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy around the message from the ancestors? Thank you. Come to the edge. Okay. Keep moving. Keep pushing forward. Okay. Keep being devoted. Your devotion equals abundance. Keep pushing. Keep coming closer to the edge. Okay. Keep releasing any type of judgment about what it is that you truly know about manifesting what it is you want and what it is that you want to have in your life. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? What is the energy surrounding the message from the guardian angels? Thank you. And we have chopped wood. Okay. And that's that energy of, you know, cleaning something up. Okay, because we have these energies at the back of the deck right here, changing the wind and blessed. Okay, so there is maybe some type of issue that you're feeling right now. Something that, you know, your guardian angels are working with you on. Something you're calling out to your guardian angels and they're asking you to, you know, just recognize this right here. Okay. You are blessed. There's a change in the wind. Abundance is coming in because of your devotion. Okay. Mm, spirit is definitely guiding you guys. Like the divine Holy Spirit is definitely leading you into an abundant change. There's a definite shift. And you feel the shift. There's a change in the wind. There is something changing. There is something blowing. Look at that energy. Okay. There is definitely something blowing. Definitely something coming in. Abundance. You are blessed because of who you are, what you do, what you contribute. Okay. I just feel like, you know, your guardian angels say there's something, there's an issue. Okay. I feel like there is something that might be overwhelming. Okay. This collective at the time. Okay. I feel like, you know, also, this is also not about getting wrapped up. This is not about getting wrapped up in what it is that you're manifesting because you know, you know, you are manifesting, you're working with the universe, you're working with the divine Holy Spirit, you're working with source. So don't forget about the everyday things. Okay. Don't forget about the everyday things. Okay. Spirit is also giving me that for some of you that it is like a time to, you know, keep going about day to day life. Okay. Sometimes you just have to like get a schedule. And work something, you know, work something out to where you're not just, 
dwelling on what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to bring in, because that's how things happen. Spirit don't work like how you might feel like spirit should work. Okay. God works on his own time. Okay. Everything is in divine order. So spirit is saying, get back to your daily life. Get back to day to day things. Get back to the things that bring you joy, your hobbies, going, you know, out to eat if you can, when you can. Okay. Being safe with that. Cause you know, with the condition that we're living in. Okay. But get back to something, a routine as well is what I'm getting off of that. Because something is definitely coming in for the collective. Okay. So we're going to go in and we're going to get an affirmation. Okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the affirmation for the collective that I'm reading for either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I am safe. It's only change. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. And I feel like this is a collective that's moved through definitely a lot of storms. A lot of bumpy, you know, bumps and obstacles in the road. Okay, but as you get over each bump, each hump, each obstacle, something is coming to you with ease, something is unfolding, something new. Okay, I definitely feel like you know, something is definitely being blessed here. Okay, this change in the wind is definitely going to bring in some blessings, keep coming to the edge on it. Okay, keep walking. This path that's being led. Keep dancing with the universe. Keep exchanging energies. Okay. Keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Because you have followed the inner call. You have trust your spiritual guidance. Your thoughts are powerful. Okay. That's all about how you feel. What you're doing. What you're putting out there. Okay. And for some of you. You might feel a little bit left out. Because that orphan card is coming into my mind again. Okay, but it's safe. It's only change. Change brings about, you know, blessings here. Okay. So there's some beautiful energy coming through. So we're going to go in with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Okay. And we're going to do a six card spread. Okay. The first card out is going to be your energy. The second card out is going to be what's grounding you. The third card out is going to be your desires, okay, your goals. The fourth card out is going to be energy surrounding what you need to let go of. The fifth card out is going to be where to direct your energy, your intentions. And the sixth card out is going to be advice slash outcome. Then we're going to go on top of that with a three card spread, past, present, future energy. And then we might get into some advice, one card for advice on top of that. I may clarify um, some of the cards that the Divine Holy Spirit moves me to. Okay. So let's get into it. Divine Holy Spirit, what is going to do for the collective that I'm reading for either now or at a later date? Archangels, Ancestors. Father God, divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Bottom of the deck energy, we have shed old skin. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy that's surrounding the collective right now? What energy is surrounding the collective right now? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, thank you. And we have see beyond the current situation in mountains, stand your ground. So you're standing ground and you're standing your ground in this wisdom and this knowledge, this deep knowing, this deep sense of this abundance. Coming in for what it is that you're devoted to. 
What it is that that positive energy that you've been sharing, that positive energy that's resonating within you and whatever this situation is, however you may feel left out, withdrawn, or you know that's only an illusion. Okay, you're seeing beyond something, even though you may be alone right now, even though you may not be able to see, see, but you can see beyond. Okay, it's the it is the faith. It is the devotion. Okay, that's keeping you going. Okay, standing your ground, this wisdom, this devotion. Okay, so this is the energy that's surrounding you. What is the energy that's grounding the collective divine Holy Spirit? What is the energy grounding the collective? What is the energy grounding? Thank you. And we have night. Be brave and honest and sage. Be devoted and committed. Okay. A lot of spiritual teachers here. That's what I feel. Teacher awakens. Okay. Deep knowing high priestess energy. Okay, hair fine energy. I'm getting off of this also. That deep knowing. Okay. Seer. Sage. Okay. Those are spiritual gurus. Those are, you know, spiritual advisors. Okay. That night energy is what's grounding you. You're in this standing your ground, defending. Okay. This beautiful energy. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the goals and the desires for the collective? Thank you. And we have Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what else is coming out for the goals? Thank you. The Sun, enjoy success, <clears throat> excuse me, and happiness. Okay, that's beautiful energy coming out right there. Maintaining your composure, maintaining your poise, okay, releasing judgment. That's that peacekeeper energy coming out again, okay, releasing judgment, understanding that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, letting go of the need to be right, okay, abundance. I'm a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in, in this physical reality. The sun. Enjoying success and happiness. It's coming out twice. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy around what the collectors need to let go of? Divine Holy Spirit, thank you. Some of you are just needing to go in that new direction. It's safe. It's only change. You're just needing to trust that new direction that's coming in for you guys and letting go any ancestral patterns, okay? Anything that might be blocking you, holding you back, okay? Childhood traumas, old relationship wounding, okay? A certain way of thinking, a certain mental way of leaving, living your life based on your circumstances around you, okay? The circumstances that were surrounding your parents, the traditional things, okay? Stepping up and moving beyond that, okay? Seeing things and actually going in that direction, moving towards that new direction, okay? Crossing bridges means you're traveling, okay? And you're doing this with ease once you let go of you know actually moving towards that keep moving towards that come to the edge okay divine holy spirit what is the energy around where the collective should direct their intentions and their energy to what's the energy around where they should direct their energies thank you thank you and we have druid hold the space And we have Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Okay, a lot of clarity coming. Okay, a lot of clarity coming. A lot of pulling pieces together is coming here. 
You just need to keep trusting in what the divine Holy Spirit is depositing in you. Okay. The creator. Okay. Trust in the unknown. Trust the plans. Trust the path that he has for you. Okay. And hold that space. You should direct your intention, your intent, your intentions and your energy around holding this energy. Keep moving in this balanced energy. But whatever deep feelings you have, okay, that you need to, you know, just work out. I feel like this is this is about having yourself a schedule. Doing something every day. Keep staying focused. Doing what it is that you need to do to manifest this abundance in. But having a day-to-day -day routine as well with this chop wood. Also, I feel like this is about cleaning up any negative energy, any leftover residue or anything. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Thank you. And we have Earth Guardians. Stay rooted and grounded. Stay rooted and grounded is the advice here. Okay, beautiful energy. Okay, also at the bottom of the deck, guardian angel, you are not alone. Didn't I just, I've been saying it. I'm going to take that. Okay, you are not alone. You are divinely protected is what that white feather coming out is representing for me. Okay, let me see if I can make sure I get it in a frame so you guys can see. Okay, so let's go in. And we're going to see what's coming out of past, present, future energy. Okay. Our angels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy coming out past, present, future, and advice for the collective? That I may be reading for. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. There is moving on. There is the six. A source energy, also the moon card that is moving on, that's reflecting, going on too, thinking about your decision. Okay, not letting anything hold you back for some of you guys. You're taking a whole totally different route than what it is that you were raised. You're, you're leaving religion behind. You're going deep into spirituality. And it might be causing you some type of hurt, some type of heartache right now. It may not resonate with everyone. Okay. Spirit is giving me keep working on what it is that you're doing. Okay. Healing is coming in for you. Okay. Bottom of the deck energy is the star card. Okay. You guys are stars. You guys are spiritual leaders. You guys, you know, keep balance within yourself. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the energy coming out for the collective from the past? Okay, we have the Four of Cups. Divine, what's the energy around the collective from the past? Divine Holy Spirit, what's the energy around the collective? Thank you. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the energy around the past? Okay, oh, yeah. I feel like for some of you guys, you walked away from an offer. Someone was trying to come back in your life. Something was being offered to you. You just, you know, you wasn't here for it. You know what that was all about. You guys ended a tough cycle. And this is the past energy. A lot of backstabbing, a lot of betrayals, a lot of hopes and dreams, a lot of things you were trying to carry on your own. Okay, you just got tired of that. Okay. And I feel also this person may have tried to come back in your life and you just moved, you just completely moved on from that. Or you're going to. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the energy around the present for the collective that I'm reading for? What is the energy around the present? Thank you. Ace of Pentacles, Abundance, Sun. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the energy around the present? Six of Wands, victory. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the present? 
that star card healing. So you guys are manifesting. Okay, you guys are devoted to this healing. You're devoted to this victory. Some of you guys are walking in this victory now, but there's more to come. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy in the future? Thank you. We have the tower. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy in the future? Okay, we have the four of wands. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy? Thank you. And we have the Ace of Cups. I feel like there is someone, a new connection, a new situation that's coming that's going to rock your world. I don't feel that Tower is a bad energy. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Okay, to stay balanced. Six of Pentacles. To stay balanced, okay? Make sure this situation is equal. Divine Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's something that's coming up. Wheel of Fortune energy. Okay, there's an equal balance that's coming in. Something is coming in to rock your world. There's a connection that is going to come in that is going to shake your world. There is a situation that's going to come in. This tower is a good tower. This tower is surrounded by nothing but good cards. The star and the four wands and behind the four wands, the ace of cups. Behind the ace of cups, you got the wheel of fortune. Okay, boo yeah hold your ground anybody that's coming in that's negative that's not of your highest good boo push them on back i'm going ahead i didn't i've already been through that okay i'm working on me now okay in this new situation that i got coming up because this tower moment is good y'all okay wheel of fortune ace of cups new beginnings okay so with that being said, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to Spiritual Guidance Academy channel. Drop us a comment. Okay, come hit me up over there at Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle on YouTube. I love y'all. Bye.